Hey guys, hi loves, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel, welcome back to another banger video. Today's video is a story time, so it's been a long holiday like for the Kenyans, you know what I mean, like five days weekend, so I'm like, let me do something fun, something chilled, you know. So I woke up with this story in my head, I think that is how sometimes you just get ideas, you just, hmm, maybe God wants me to tell this story time. So this is a story of how this particular ex of mine disrespected me. When I'm saying disrespect, I mean it. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and keep watching to the end because it's really really funny uh -huh. so um the product of today is this particular drink here it's called fab energy drink i do not have it in the moment in my hand but i have used it before and i love it so if you are a fan of energy drinks if you work long hours and you need something to always stimulate your energy if you go to hikes and adventurous activities you need energy if you go to road trips you know you need energy long travels you need energy even for my hangover peeps, you know, unapenda kunywa sana and you need something to always help you relieve your hangover, this is the drink for you. So it is very, very affordable. It's just 600 Kenyan shillings for one. So just make sure you DM me and WhatsApp me on this number here on the screen for you to get your drink. Yes, and I've actually used it before in my Naivasha road trip vlog. I'm going to link it in the description box in case you did not watch that vlog. You'll hear my honest opinion. It was my first time to have it. It's sweet no calories no gluten no sugar vitamin b and it's amazing energy drink so support your girl okay order your drink now and support your girl's business you know you won't regret it it's very very sweet so so this particular ex of mine background story i have only dated, been in a relationship with two guys in my entire life when i was 18 years old and when i was 19 years old respectively anybody else that i've me met after that they were probably in a relationship with themselves <laughs> if they were in one i was just dating getting to know different people yeah that's me not counting high school shenanigans okay yeah so this particular guy to limit uko in the village and i feel like these people are the ones who who loved me for me they saw the real me they saw where i came from they saw the naive me they loved the like the the baby me utoto me you know so this yes. particular boy was still in high school in the final year of high school when i was done with my high school so i was one year ahead of him and he was the lover boy of the village and i was the lover girl of the vi village lover boy lover girl meaning kila mtu anakutaka <laughs> So we were hmm, perfect match. So of course we met when I was still in a kind of my first relationship after high school, which ended in like three months. So yeah. Story for another day. Uh, we were dating and we went. I went to campus when we were still in a relationship. That was like the longest relationship I've been. Like it was one year. <laughs> I've been in a relationship for four years, like in uni, high school, you to me, and I took my letters. That one is not interesting. I'm not counting that one as a relationship. So uh, I went to campus, and then while in campus, of course, I gave my life to Christ when I was in my second, year, second semester, first year. And so, you know, we were in different parts. You know, he was funny, he was cute, some of the things I like in guys. But, you know, we couldn't work out after I gave my life to Christ. Like, like, Four or five months later, after I gave my life to Christ, God told me to let go of that relationship. He never believed it because it's because God told me. He thinks it's because of a certain guy, a friend of mine in campus, that you know they actually you know, it become kind of like verbal abuse between those two guys, <laughs> my close friend in campus and him. So I think he thought nearly more because of this friend of mine. But I I don't jump from one relationship to another, even though you yaki nearly jump. <laughs> to literally flow to so yeah no. after i received that message from the lord saying that i should let go of the relationship because we were no longer at par like a believer and a non-believer i'm not saying like in that bad way you know like someone will lead you into if you're not on the same page it's better you just separate you know so it took me three months to obey god and actually say that i'm done with this relationship <laughs> Because, you know, I'm a stubborn girl and only God knows how to handle me best. So uh, I think he thought it was because of this other guy, but we never did. So I was in first year and then by the time I was leaving the relationship, I was in my first semester of second year. Yes. So this story is based on four years later. After I have done with uni, we've never met eye to eye ever since we broke up. Uh, of course, we broke up texts. Text. text. <laughs> 
<laughs> Text breaking up the ghetto. <laughs> hey, anyway, so four years later, we were supposed to meet. I was done with uni. That was last year. I was depressed, depressed, depressed. So I was just looking for somewhere to any escape route. That's why I feel like anybody I met last year it was not genuine because I was looking for an escape route to just get out of my head and my emotions and my life so that I can feel like, you know, I can live again. So anybody that will give me their time, bam, I was there. So that was the first mistake I did. So we were supposed to meet. So me, I thought as usual, we would meet in his house. But I mean, now he's a family man. How do I, how the hell do I expect to meet him in his house? Like before, like to meet his mom and his brothers. I miss his family. They were really nice. And someone who has never had motherly love, I always look for, I always look for that motherly love anywhere I can get. And I hold on to it like gold. So we planned to meet. Me, I thought we were going to meet in his house. Maybe in the mini villages, yeah. But yeah, Ali, I think he borrowed a friend's house for us to go there. No, the problem is not even the friend's house. It was like a Mabati house, you know, the ghetto in Nairobi. The house was not even a problem. It was the fact that the toilets in this place were so full and so disgusting, so unhygienic. So like, after four years, dear ex, you just saw that we could catch up in someone else's house. But... Yeni, you didn't even see any place where we could just catch up and like get to know what happened after the breakup. Let's talk about the breakup, you know. Like this, I felt so disrespected and so angry at myself. Like, jipende, jipende sis. Sasa, I should just have communicated it earlier. And the problem with me is that I don't speak out. I think because all my life I felt like my voice is never heard. So like I'm like, ata nikiongea, nobody will hear me. I feel so uncomfortable in this place, first of all. Ah, it was so unhygienic. Like, I need to learn to speak out and communicate how I'm feeling. But it felt so bad because how did you just choose this place for us to meet? I mean, I, I should just have stood up and gone home. But also, you know, when you're running from a problem, <laughs> you just want this escape route. That, that is the story, guys. I was spending my Respect yourself. Like if come on, if the first place someone and I choose Mwende is not even worth your time, why are you going? Jipende kwanza. Jipende. And most of my viewers are aged eighteen and twenty four, so we are in the same age group. We make these mistakes together. So I mean since then of course we've never met. Of course the conversation went well. He's someone who's charming, like jokes you know funny that are, you you can't be bored but some my problem was the environment of which he chose for us to meet someone else's house una hire nyumba ya mtu just for us for a day for us to meet kwani how low do you view me ah huh? how and it's I, it's not even the first time i remember when i was 18 years old i went to visit someone hours ago and they even hired someone's house just for us to meet kwani you can't take me to your home I'm, I'm not worthy of your home. Just make me understand. Anyway, now I value myself better. I know that even I don't know why I dated this person in the first place because he was so promiscuous with women. I'm sure he cheated on me during this one year of dating, but I was, I didn't care. <laughs> I just never cared. <laughs> or maybe I was not so deep in the relationship. I don't know. Maybe I was still figuring myself out. I don't know, but yeah. Anyone who's promiscuous, I think I think now they even have a couple of babies and with this come we stay marriage. You know, in your Kenya love saying at I hate that term. Anyway, come we stay. He has a family now. All the I wish all the best to him. I will probably meet him one day. I would love to because I love to meet my ex and know how they are moving, how is life on their end. I wish them the best, you know. So yeah, respect yourself. Do not go where you you are not comfortable if you're not comfortable somewhere kanyaga migu and leave <laughs> but i blame that to my depression thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe and hit the subscribe button more stories will come i don't even know how this story is because i'm not a good storyteller but it is what it is okay <laughs> we are posting every day content has to flow <laughs> depende <laughs> respect yourself sis do not go where you feel undervalued you know like get to life like i'm so happy with the farm i'm now the woman i've become i know better i know what i deserve it was a good day well spent anyway i enjoyed the company i enjoyed the conversations it was nice it was cool but i'm never gonna do that again <laughs> okay bye guys
nothing extravaganza happened that day you know but the point remains he never believed that it was because god told me to leave the relationship he never believes that even until today but guess 